Hi, I'm Dr. George Pianca. I'm with the Hudson Valley Bone and Joint Surgeons. Uh, I'm an orthopedic hand surgeon, and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, Dupuytren's contracture. Uh, Dupuytren is a, a surgeon who described uh, the condition and was perhaps the first person to uh, treat it uh, back in the 1800s. Uh, it's a condition uh, which has a genetic predisposition to occur in people. So there is a gene which uh, the thinking is that it came from Northern European populations, people say the Vikings, but it spread from Northern Europe into the uh, England, Scotland, and into the Mediterranean. Uh, the condition does exist in African and Asian populations, but to a much lesser degree. So Dupuytren's contracture is a, a genetic condition where there's a transformation of tissue in your palm. There's a smooth layer of tissue through the palm that goes into the fingers called the palmar fascia. And that tissue gets transformed. You start to get uh, these nodules and additional collagen forming, which then uh, adds up and starts to contract so that the fingers, and most often ring finger, starts to get drawn down into your palm. And it's a condition that happens gradually over a period of years uh, generally, an older population will, will manifest it, uh, but if you have other risk factors such as diabetes, it may manifest in a um, more severe fashion, uh, maybe at a younger age. Uh, there are families that the condition is more pronounced in, uh, and, and they have what's called a Dupuytren's diathesis, where they have additional risk factors for a more problematic or more severe degree of uh, Dupuytren's contracture. Multiple digits get involved. Uh, the tissue is very infiltrative and becomes much more difficult to manage. Uh, so the reason patients come into the office to treat the Dupuytrens is because their fingers are in a flexed position and they can't straighten them, they can't wash their face. If it's the dominant hand, it's awkward to shake other people's hands or they can't put a glove on because the finger is deformed and there's no way to straighten it. So a bent finger that's stuck in that position that cannot be straightened is different from a trigger finger, which uh, frequently is a tendonitis, and you may be able to manipulate your finger to regain the extension, and it may lock every time you bend it. But Dupuytren's uh, is different because you see the abnormal thickening of the collagen, these cords, we call them cords, Dupuytren's cords that form in the palm, and they are permanent fixed. Some people come in thinking that that's the tendon, and it's not, it's superficial to the tendon, uh, but as it progresses, uh, the tissue becomes tight and the fingers are drawn into the palm. So once it becomes a functional problem, patients seek attention and the treatment for it is uh, one of uh, three options. Uh, so people are, uh, sometimes think that therapy or splinting or uh, medication may help it. Uh, the answer is no. Uh, the deformity that occurs is only amenable to a procedure of some sort and, and there are basically three options. Uh, the old tried and true procedure would be a, a fasciectomy where incisions are made in the palm to remove the abnormal tissue, remove the collagen to then allow the finger to straighten. And if the contracture is severe, sometimes you need to do a joint release. And then you, if the skin is very contracted, then at the same time, we do a, either a skin graft or a Z-plasty. We try to bring more skin in uh, to the area in order to allow the finger to straighten. To cover all the all the wounds. There's also an open palm technique, a macache technique, where sometimes if it's uh, if there's a skin loss in the palm, it's reasonable and it is it's okay to leave it open and just treat it with bandages and eventually that closes up. A lot of patients kind of don't like that because there's some maintenance involved and they don't like the fact that the wound is open for two three weeks. But once the contracture is corrected with removal of the tissue, the fasciectomy, uh, then it gives you a more complete correction of the deformity, um, but Dupuytren is a condition where there's never a cure, so there may be progression, there may be a recurrence of the deformity over time, which may require additional treatment in the future. Uh, more recently, um, what's become more popular is also a needle technique to uh, do a percutaneous aponeurotomy, where under a local anesthetic, even in the office with, a, uh, with local anesthesia, the tissue is divided with a needle and then ruptured by manipulating the finger once the tissue is weakened. And, and the cord, the tissue is left in place, but it's disrupted and the finger is straightened. Uh, the downside of having that procedure is that the correction is 
perhaps not as complete, especially in the PIP joint. It's more successful at the knuckle, the MP joint, less successful in the PIP joint, uh, but it can last a long time and patients who don't wanna go through the long recovery of open surgery often choose that option because they know that they don't have to take much time out of work or, or from their sport or whatever activity they're involved with and it's, it's a easier recovery uh, by having the needle technique. Another uh, option that um, is frequently advertised is a collagenase. Uh, it's a enzyme that's injected into the cord, into the tissue, that then dissolves the collagen and patients will come back the following day and with or without a local anesthetic, the finger is manipulated and the cord is ruptured uh, because it's, the collagen was digested by the enzyme and, and so the cord is disrupted and the finger is in a more straight position. And that's also more successful with the MP joint contractures, less successful with the PIP joint contractures, which is the middle, middle joint. Uh, so there are advantages and disadvantages of these, these three techniques. But as I said earlier, uh, if, if it is Dupuytren's contracture and the fingers are getting deformed, then therapy splinting medication won't work. Then it's a matter of making a decision between the collagenase, the percutaneous aponeurotomy, or the Dupuytren's fasciectomy.